Hey guys, this is Fo with We Are Music Radio. Um, so, um, as you know, I have the iBuyPower uh, Fallout Basic Edition, which is uh, currently on sale. I think it's a good deal. Um, you get everything ready to run uh, Windows 10 and uh, Home Edition, if you. But if uh, you can always upgrade to Pro Edition um, if you're if you want. But um, I think Home is fine. It's um, uh, everything works out great for me. I don't have an issue with it. Uh, uh, there are four different tiers of uh, this version. Uh, the most expensive going as much as two thousand dollars, but uh, it's also on sale for two hundred dollars off. So um, I think. Um, uh, I mean, uh, sure, I would love to get the two thousand dollar ones. It comes with the uh, the twenty eighty card. Uh, which um, probably the latest and greatest and uh, I'm sure you can probably melt down some kind of uh, gaming session or anything like that but if you're cheap uh, like I am uh, two, uh, 719 is actually not bad for what you get if you if you still don't have the, the cash for it they you know I just found out about this but they sell a $200 case uh, which is uh, currently sold out because I'm assuming a lot of people are, are interested in this case alone and just jumped on the bandwagon and bought it. Um, um, it is on sale for 24% off. That doesn't sound right. Uh, for Anyway, $200. Well, anyway, it's uh, free shipping, but like I said, you can't get it anyway because it's sold out. But um, it uh, doesn't include uh, the chip or anything so uh, just keep that in mind when you're buying these uh, standalone cases uh, but it does come with all the nice amenities of the case uh, what it offers which is the the Nuka Cola cooling um, system and, and those special um, screws that are <laughs> only part of this set uh, one in eight uh, random um, bobbleheads, which um, I'm going to tell you most of it's not going to fit on the mount that they give you, so uh, just keep that in mind. It's annoying, but you can fix it with tape or whatever. Uh, it's, it's it's not a big deal. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, you can just m MacGyver it. Um, and then, um, and you know, they make a big fuss of this black light graphics. Uh, the, they they're talking about this front graphics here, where it can glow in the dark if you have the uh, uh, black light, or um, if you have um, a high intense light uh, shown on it, and then turn it off, it will start glowing. It's cool, but it's it's not that cool. I mean, I don't know why they make such a big deal out of it. Uh, I don't think it's that cool. I think that the cooler thing is actually the uh, the two. Um, uh, fans that the lights up the, that's really cool uh, the way that the lighting system works for for this case is is just uh, designed to showcase the interior of your uh, file computer which uh, looks amazing um, how they were able to sort that all out uh, um, so yeah, so this uh, keep in mind it's also a mid-sized tower, which it doesn't support um, larger motherboards, but it does support all the small motherboards, which is the ATX, the Micro, and the Mini. Uh, so if you ever have those um, motherboard ready, um, you know what to do with it. I mean, if you build system, you, you this is probably nothing new to you. Um, yeah, so yeah, uh, so uh, if you're interested in just to get in the case, uh, just keep an eye out on Amazon. It's um, like I said, it's currently out of stock, but uh, I'm assuming as they get more in, they'll probably put it on listing. Um, I also want to stress that it's limited at a 2000, but I believe that 2000 might only apply to the system that iBuyPowers is building to sell. I don't know if that applies to a uh, standalone case, which does include any of this interior. I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, if, if let's say they build so many computers and nobody's buying them, they can probably just gut out all the components and then just sell the case alone uh, just to, you know, get rid of uh, the inventory of these cases. Uh, because if they had to manufacture 2,000 of these cases, it's probably sitting around somewhere in in a warehouse that if nobody's interested in buying these but I'm telling you uh, this is such a cool case I mean it is worth that 200 plus dollar amount that they're asking for I've seen 
you know, like a crazy case for sale for about that much, and they don't look nearly as cool as this. Um, but having said that, though, it's only if you're a Fallout fan that, that you will want to uh, dip your toe and get in one of these. So um, anyway, once you can get your computer, if you're interested, you can like mod your computer a uh, little. As you can see, this is my Firefox. I have this Fallout theme running. Somebody made this. Um, I'm not, I don't love it, but you know, I, I'm running it. Um, I got this um, Pip-Boy um, on the bottom here. Uh, so you, that's actually a um, start 10. You can also get a start 8, I think, uh, which is basically the same thing as, as what this is. But then you can replace the, uh, uh, the icon on the bottom here. So um, and somebody also made this as well. So I didn't any of this thing. The other thing you're in, if you're interested in is you can uh, assign different icons to your uh, drives. So, for example, um, I'll show you. Um, so each of these are hard drives, and then they all have a different icon. Uh, you can download, um, you can find um, file icons online. Just do a search for dot uh, .ico files, and you should be able to, to find a bunch of them. Uh, once you have it, uh, put in your uh, C drive directory, and then you'll create a file called autorun.inf. This is just a text file, basically. And then, uh, as you see, a notepad opens it up. You'll type in these commands, auto run, icon, echo. Uh, you don't need this dot backslash here. Um, in fact, you just say icon equal to file for dot ICO. And I guess, um, um, apparently, uh, you, it's not capitalized. You don't even have to capitalize it. And it will just look for it. I'm not gonna save it, but um, but yeah. So if you're interested, um, uh, you can just type this out here, and it. When you restart your computer, or if you clear out your cache uh, and flush out your cache or whatever, you'll start seeing uh, the windows will start recognizing the um, the icon. Uh, so yeah, this is another icon here. So. As you can see, it's this file uh, for s.ico, which is right this this icon right here. Whoops, did not mean to do that. So yeah, <clears throat> so that's how I assign different icons to my different drives. Um, anyway, thank you for watching.